Hey everyone, it's RF Tech Guy here, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about my uh, my very first solar panel video, my my solar power video on how to run an AC. I got a lot of information wrong on that first video, so I was trying to actually go onto that video, trying to figure out how I can go on there and add things onto it. But I figured I'll just uh, I'll just give you an updated video on how to run an AC and I'm going to simplify it for you in this video. So also if you want to see some tests on on uh, on this air conditioner, I did make some test videos where I ran this for about 2 hours each test and found out that uh, I think with 4 400 watts of solar power you can run a 5000 BTU uh, a lot safer. Of course, you would still keep need to keep track of your your batteries and everything but it would be easier for me to show you on the computer exactly how this works so it, but in this box if you're wondering what kind of equipment i'm running i'm running 150 watts of solar power up on the roof uh still to this point and i'll show you where you can donate if you want to see me do more projects and things like that because these solar tests and then uh, all these solar projects are kind of expensive i still got the cheap charge controller um hoping to replace that by the end of this week with an MPPT uh, 50 amp uh, charge controller and the charge control I found has really good ratings. I'm running a, so in here I'm running a 5000 watt uh, power inverter and it's just a regular inverter. It's not a Pearson wave kit because everybody keeps asking me about that. That's going to be next on my list to replace first the MPPT charge controller actually then solar panels and Pearson wave. We need to get more solar panels up there. I want at least 600 watts, so we'll see if I could get to that point by the end of the summer. And I'm not going with the uh, I'm not going to be going with Harbor Freight solar panels anymore because I found out that uh, Renogy has them uh, cheaper. If I want to just re put a solar panel, it's about 100 bucks, 114 dollars. Now the solar panels I have can't exactly keep up with this. I think if I had about uh, 400 watts, to do a better job of keeping up. 600 watts. Uh, five to six hundred watts I think would be um, more than enough to keep up with this uh, because we get plenty of sun uh, where I live so I'd probably be able to run it as from when the sun comes up to uh, when the sun goes down so right here I got it going from this extension cord to this power inverter And yes, I know it would be uh, better to show you it inside a window, but I've already done that. And I've explained uh, why I, I'm not really supposed to have these window units here um, sticking out of the window. So I'm going to turn this off now, and we're going to go show you uh, more details on the PowerPoint. Hey everyone, so be before we get started, I wanted to show you um, how you can help out my channel uh, so I can actually get more projects done. Uh, I got a I got a big project that I've been planning on doing, but it's very costly, and I would like to uh, do these projects and kind of demonstrate to you exactly everything I did. Uh, we're trying to take a a garage off the grid, completely off the grid. Yeah, I'm going to show you how you can donate to my to this channel to actually uh, help me create more videos. All right, so when you're over here on RF Tech Guy, you're going to click this little button here. You can go to about the channel, and I have a uh, a PayPal me uh, set up to uh, help fund RF channels so you just click on that and you'll see this little picture of uh, me and one of my daughters and uh, and my wife you can click like uh, you can put anything from 50 cents to a dollar or you know any any number and anything you guys donate helps and that would really help out this channel uh, move forward with more projects and uh, things like that so today I'm going to be showing you how to run an air conditioner unit on uh, solar power so this is actually based on my last video which you know I explained earlier uh, the last video had a lot of problems but I still get a lot of comments on that very first video that I did with with my uh, solar this channel wasn't originally intended to be a solar power uh, a solar power channel it was actually intended for my uh, SolidWorks portfolio and then I decided to put a a project of mine on uh, on trying to run an air conditioner because it was hot in this house and uh, the electricity was getting costly but I've been having fun with the solar stuff and I've been learning a lot thanks to the comments and and uh, and everything a lot of rude comments but you know some of them are actually pretty hilarious and uh, some of them are very ac actually very helpful uh, what will you need you're gonna need of course solar panels a charge controller to make sure that your batteries don't overcharge and explode and some deep cycle battery bank 
and a power inverter. Now we're going to go check out some uh, some stuff that you need. And if you need the wiring diagram, it's right here. And I, I, I'll leave a link to my website as well to where you can get this wiring di diagram. Um, I'm trying to make it more easily accessible. But if you can't find it on my website, you can always just click uh, off-grid wiring diagram for uh, solar panels. So of course you got your uh, solar panel here, your charge controller, your battery bank, and your power inverter. And the charge controller always has like some sort of uh, thing where you could plug lights directly to it. So it, this will be a, like a DC light. And you can run your TV, you can run uh, different things off the charge controller. I mean off the power inverter. Uh, so. Uh, solar panel. Say, well, this is my solar setup here. This is actually, there's one panel missing. It's off to the back there, and these are each 25 watt panels. So this is a Harbor Freight uh, 100, two. This is one and a half Harbor Freight 100 watt kits that I have up here, and these are the panels I'm planning on going to. These are Renogy. This right here is about 600 watts. This is ideal for um, for running a 5,000 BTU air conditioner. 600 watts should be more than enough to run the the 5,000 BTU air conditioner all day without uh, without uh, having to go over there and turn it off. But of course, you're going to have to turn it off at night. That depends on the battery bank. But we'll uh, get into that. This this will guarantee that you can run your air conditioner all day while the sun is out and I will be leaving links again where to get all this stuff from this is the charge controller I'm planning on getting I haven't gotten it yet of course because it's costly well it's it's about hundred and fifty dollars for this one uh, I believe this is a 50 amp uh, MPPT charge controller now this is a smart charge controller that's supposed to uh, be able to uh, control the charge a lot better, push extra out when it needs, and uh, reduce the charge going into the batteries when it needs it. And it also comes with this little uh, uh, battery gauge, so you can actually tell how much uh, battery life you have. You can put this inside your house to to keep an eye on your batteries because you don't want them to undercharge. You don't want them to be uh, to go down too low. And the wiring on these these things are pretty simple. They have you know right here it has a little picture of a solar panel plus minus so you know negative positive, uh, and it's on the solar panel wires as well. So it's you know it should be uh, fairly easy to connect. And this obviously goes to the battery because it has a picture of the battery. And this you could plug a uh, different light lighting into or different uh, power DC power. Uh, items into so this right here is a picture of my battery bank these are 88 amp hour batteries because I went to interstate and I bought these batteries refurbished uh, deep cycle 88 amp hour batteries and they were about sixty dollars a piece so this is the best deal that I was able to get on these batteries so that's that's why I got the batteries the size that I did I know there's other recommendations but these were these are these were within my budget and uh, Right here is uh, different ways you could connect them. If you want to stay at 12 volt, you would connect them like I did, which is uh, this is in parallel. Right here, and this wire here is going towards the um, my 5,000 watt power inverter, and then I got the negative over here going to the 5,000 watt power inverter. As kind of like it's shown here. I do recommend if you're going to be running an AC unit that you get at least 300 amp hours uh, worth of battery bank. Now this is hooked up in series. Anytime you hook up in series it would be from negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive and every time you hook up this would be uh, 12 volts, 24 volts and so on and so forth all, all the way up to 48 volts. Now I uh, one of the things that I keep getting recommended is that I should be running 48 volts. But keep in mind that if you go up in voltage, uh, all the equipment that you're running will get more expensive. Uh, 12 volts for me is very affordable. I, You know, you gain amperage here. I gain amp hours. 
um, over here it stays the same the amp hour stay the same yeah it's not just the batteries that get more expensive it's also the power inverter well, that's, I think those are the main two things the power inverter and the batteries are the ones that really go up in price for a, a, the if you go up in voltage in your systems now these are the um, this is the original sin wave inverter I was looking for just pure sin wave uh, apparently uh, a lot of the comments are telling me that these are way better at uh, taking care of your equipment so you don't fry out your uh, TV or gaming system or you know whatever you're trying to run your run with your solar or your compressor and your air conditioner these will uh, apparently these will help regulate the power going through and will help uh, uh, keep your stuff from frying out but so far I haven't had a I haven't had an issue I've been running that air conditioner with that uh, 5000 watt it's just a regular inverter and I haven't had any issues with it sometimes you can hear that the power um, is a little bit uh, weaker on the compressor but but this is the one I'm actually looking forward to getting and I'll be leaving links to these uh, down below as well so uh, thank you for watching be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you have any questions anything I missed on here I'm hoping that I kept this uh, simple enough Oh yeah, and check out my other videos as well. I have a lot more information, and that's about it for today. Thank you for watching.